Okay, now I'm going to pick up the second half of this video, Judy's listing. This door could be taller. It's only seven feet tall. Then we come into the family room. Dinette off the kitchen, which is to my left. We'll get to that in a second. There's a big built-in. Here we've got not a trade ceiling, but a vaulted ceiling. Granite countertops. Stainless steel appliances. Blonde wood kitchen with an island. Built-in uh, recipe desk. Back to the door that I just came in. Door to the lanai. Dinette. I didn't turn all the lights on in here, so it's a little dark. Another door out to the lanai. And a moderately sized uh, living room area. Back there is a full bath. That is the powder bath, but it is a full bath. Okay, also on this side of the house are the guest rooms. Obviously, there's a big sound system that you're going here. This is the sound system. This is the route to the uh, guest rooms. Again, I've not turned on all the lights in here, so it's a little dark, but you've got your normal eight foot ceilings here, linen closets, a lot of storage. Coming back to the laundry room. Good sized laundry room, washer, dryer, laundry tub, outside window, bonus refrigerator, and a little broom closet behind the door there. You've got your guest bath. It's a full bath. Renovated sinks. All throughout you've got the 18-inch uh, tile on the diagonal, so this, this house obviously been recently renovated. Tall uh, dual sinks there for the guests. Guest rooms are both on the front of the house. Guest room one, a little purple. Good sized room. I can get measurements later if necessary, but they're big enough for whatever you want to do. Back to, these are like nine foot ceilings. Okay, then we go into the third bedroom, second guest room, three bedrooms in total. Also has a big den that you'll see in a minute. This is Alex's room. Also on the front of the house. He's got most of the big ten there, but he's Michigan he's missing Michigan State. It's not big ten at all. Those are the guest rooms. We'll go back past the kitchen. The route to the kitchen is that way. Back to the main area. And now towards the master suite. Straight ahead is the office. I mean, this is a full-size bedroom, big built-in. Again, tall ceilings. And looks out to the point of entry. So left here on the master, well here first we have the powder bath that they missed in the listing. This one doesn't exist according to the listing, but it's a nice powder bath. The uh, garage is on the master side of the house, which is interesting, and backwards from, from normal. It is a two-car garage with a little extra space, as you can see, for storage. Uh, not bad, nothing to write home about. The uh, garage is a side entry off of the street. So it is uh, hidden from the street. And then uh, 
into the master. There's a nice big hallway, sitting room type hallway going into the master. It's got to be six feet wide. And then a big master. We start with the uh, doorway out to the lanai. And then it's uh, vaulted ceilings again. King size bed, huge furniture, huge room. Oh, two windows out towards the uh, the lake and the golf course, and then a slider, a triple slider, to the little eye. Another door. These doors can be a little bit taller for me, but it's an older house and it's, it's well updated though. Here's the master bath. It's got granite. It's updated. It has a makeup desk, dual sinks, dual basins is the best way to say it. Nice arch. The arches go throughout the house. It's uh, Consistent with itself. Big walk in closet. You can see in here. Only the one closet so far. That's the shower, actually, straight back. Tub here. Little window, which was popular, with a wall around it. It's a nice effect. See this? Oh, oh that, that closet is actually a walk-around closet. I didn't see that before. That's the door I showed you in before. So it's a double closet, plenty big enough. And that's our shower. It's a good house. It's a nice house. For Judy, it's not overpriced as much as all the rest of her houses. Um, I'll send this to you and we'll talk about it. Thank you.